Hi there. Thanks for watching the video. Um, on this one I'm going to uh, show you how to do a hippo using your owl punch. Actually the owl punch and your one and three quarter inch circle. And I have to give credit. This is not my idea. I saw it uh, somewhere in my travels when I was doing my research for this. And uh, I'm afraid I do not know the lady's name, but on uh, YouTube her uh, her ID is Chihuahua Mom. So if you want to see what she does, um, that's where I got the idea, and I thank her for the idea. All right, very simple. What I'm going to do is start off by using the one and three quarter inch circle punch, obviously to make a circle, to create the hippo's body. Okay. All right. So now I've got the body there, and then I'm going to use my owl punch, and we'll get us a we'll get a uh, body here to create the hippo's face. All right. So now, in order to use this for the hippo's face, I'm going to have to take off the feet again. Like so. And there you see we're going to put it sort of like this. Okay. And I forgot also, she uses the hearts, which is one way to do the... I'll just show it to you. I thought this was kind of cute. There's other ways to do it, obviously, but I like this idea. So I'm going to need two of those. Okay. In a minute. Get rid of the things we're not using. Alright, now this doesn't really stand out too well, so we need to do a couple other things with it. Uh, we're going to put uh, some no, uh, some nostrils and some eyes and so forth, uh, but this still, the, the face is really blending in with the body there. So before I put it together, what we're going to do is use some dimensionals to make that pop up a little bit. Uh, but let's do a couple of other things first. I want to get some teeth, and for that I've just got this little piece of white uh, paper, or whatever color that is. And I'm simply going to pretty much chop it in half, about like that. Okay, and we'll put these like so. I guess this is probably the easiest way to do it, so let me just get those on there real quickly. For Pete's sake, my fat fingers won't pick anything up here. some buck teeth which makes this start to pick up a little bit makes it a little bit easier to see and when I make a couple of eyes that will help so the eyes are going to be uh, just these little circles that came from the owl punch that's going to be this circle and I'm going to use the little teeny ones for the the, uh, uh, the pupil and you can see what I did was I've, I've gone ahead and punched a whole bunch of those because I always find I need more of those, so I'm just keeping in my in my little uh, in my little stash of stuff here, okay. And just like I did on the uh, on the other video, I like to use this to put my little bit of Tombow in there, and then I can use the piercer to pick things up and glue them down like this. Very quick. Alright, and I have a couple over here already made up, so rather than spend the time making another one, I'll just use one of those. Okay. Now we still need to have, now that we've got his eyes on there, we still need to have uh, some nostrils. So let's just take a couple of these and stick them right down on there. Wow, 
like so. Oops, come back there. Okay, like so. And then what she did was she used these, and you could find other stuff for this, but I thought this was really cute, and it's a good way to use up the stuff that you've got. Take your a little heart there and slip it up under and just glue it on. Like so. Little did you know, that's not really a heart, it's a hippo foot. Okay, so that's, again, there's a, a basic hippo. Okay, now I'm going to take a little break here, turn off the camera so that I can put these things together and show you some other things. Okay, I'm back. And now what I did during that little intermission I took was I just kind of tacked all of these things down so that I can move things around a little easier. The head's still loose. Okay. It really is. There it goes. And... Uh, now this poor guy, the other kids have been teasing him because he's not dressed well. So he's a little embarrassed about that, as you're going to see here in a second. Got some real red here, just to, just to show the embarrassment, poor guy. Okay. There we go. And now you can see he's got a bit of a blush going there because of all that teasing. But he's going to get that taken care of very quickly because I went and cut out again another one of these, the uh, the vest or the or the plumage or whatever you call it from the from the owl video. And then I took a number of these uh, these small uh, circles and tacked them together to create a vest from my buddy here who is now going to be the best dressed hippo at the zoo and he's feeling a lot better about that. However, even so, even so, it's all just a bit bewildering. And so we give him a little bit of a bewildered look. And there's our hippo. A lot of other things you could do with that, obviously, and you could dress him up differently and, and anything you want to do. Now let me show you the difference with the, uh, the, the putting the color on here helped, helped to bring him out a little bit. But then also if we put on in uh, a dimensional or two on the back, That's going to help quite a bit. Okay, come on now. Don't have all day here. Turn them around so I can see a little bit better. Stick his eyes back on there. Poor bewildered guy. And there's my little hippo. So pretty simple. All I used was the one and three quarter inch punch and the owl punch and uh, just made a, a number of, of each each circle and so forth that I needed ahead of time. The, the, uh, the teeth are just a piece of paper that I cut up and uh, then the feet were the hearts that came from the punch. So thanks for watching, and I'll be making another one with a couple more things in it.